Yo, yo, what's goody YTBC? What's good, fight fans, boxing ads around the world? B Marsh with another boxing video. Just when the detractors thought that PBC is done and PBC is bankrupt and uh, PBC won't even be televising any more boxing cards for the rest of 2016, just when the haters and the detractors thought it was safe for them to jump out the window and talk blasphemy about the PBC, which gives us free boxing fights on TV. You know, a lot of people try to say, oh, if ESPN ain't free. Well, CBS is free, ain't it? Fox is free, isn't it? Ain't NBC free? So, you know, people always going to try to make excuses and whatnot. But uh, the, re the reason I'm making this video is because uh, PBC is coming strong in their third season for 2017, man. They come in hard body with it, man, and, uh, you know, I can dig it, man. A lot of people, man, I'm sure they, they're praying on the, on the PBC downfall. I don't understand why. Actually, I do. I do understand why, and I do know why, but that's for another video. And I'm pretty sure you, you guys out there can figure it out why people do want to see the PBC fail, you know what I mean? But, you know... From my perspective, man, PBC is great, man. Like I said, ever since PBC has been on television, since 2015, I believe their first card was, was it in March of 2015, that Adrian Broner and uh, and Robert the Ghost Guerrero, no, Adrian Broner versus John Molina and Eric the Ghost, um, uh, what's his name? Robert the Ghost Guerrero versus Keith Thurman. That was in March of 2015, right? Ever since they've been on TV, man, I've seen more boxing on my television screen than I ever have seen before. And I love boxing. So, to me, PBC is great, man. You know, a lot of people say, oh, who wants to watch fights on FS1? I'm like, I do if I want to see young prospects. Guys who are 8 and 0, 9 and 0. You know what I'm saying? People like Lippinets. You know what I mean? I like to see Lippinets fight. You know what I'm saying? And that's another thing, man. A lot of those, <laughs> a lot of those PBC detractors, they love the HBO, right? They love HBO, and I love HBO too, man. I love boxing on any channel. You know what I mean? But they uh, claim that uh, they love HBO more because um, you know they like these European fighters that HBO showcases. You know what I'm saying? Fellas like Lomachenko, Triple G, Kovalev. They like that. You know what I'm saying? But they never give credit when PBC introduces new guys to the to your television screen, like Lempinets. You know what I mean? You check it. Um, the other guy they call Kurtzai. Kurtzai, that that guy from Georgia, Russia, Georgia. You know, the guy who gave my guy from out here, D.C., from Southeast, um, Antoine Douglas, a thorough beating. You check it. They never talk about, um, what you call it, um, Dennis Shafikov. You know what I'm saying? They never speak about how PBC, it's because of PBC that America even knows who the fuck Carl Frampton is. You know what I'm saying? They never mention that. All these so-called European lovers who love them European boxers, hey... That's all well and fine. We know why you don't like the PBC, you know what I'm saying? But you claim you like HBO because they're giving you these kind of fighters. What about who Arthur Better Beef? If it wasn't for PBC, you wouldn't know who Arthur Better Beef is. You would have never even seen him fight on your American television screen. Jamie McDowell from out there in the UK at the Bantamweight. You check it. If it wasn't for PBC, we wouldn't know him and we wouldn't even know Kamita. On our television screens. Koki Komita and the Komita brothers from Japan. You know what I mean? Look at that fight between Kono and Komita. One child, what was it? On like a Spike TV card on PBC. You know what I'm saying? You check it. So PBC is great, man. I like PBC, man. You check it. They be showcasing a guy. I forgot his name, man. I kind of... A oh, uh, white boy from, I think he's from Texas. He always wears a cowboy's hat. And he always fights out there in San Antonio in um, that, what you call it? <clears throat> cowboy's dance hall, that's what they call it. You know, this guy, man, he's being given a chance. PBC, man, is putting him on TV. 
you know, fighting, you know, on FS1 and whatever other channels he can get on, you know, NBC Sports Network, you know what I mean? But the PBC Championship Series is going to continue in 2017, you know what I'm saying? And it's going to give us plenty of good fights, you know what I mean? Last year they gave us Danny Garcia and Robert Guerrero, you know what I'm saying? They gave us uh, Errol Spence and Leonard Bundu right after USA won the gold medal basketball in the Olympics. You know, they gave us Sean Porter and Keith Thurman. Great fights, Leo Santa Cruz, Carl Frampton. You know what I'm saying? And they give us upsets, man. Look at last year, Marco Huck versus Glowacki. I didn't know who Glowacki was, but I've seen Marco Huck fight numerous times. Nobody on this planet I know picked Glowacki to win that fight. The man Marco Huck was going, trying to tie Johnny Nelson's uh, title, de mo most title defenses at Cruiserweight. That man Glowacki ain't get the memo that night, man. He came to America for the upset and he got it done and he left out, out that ring as a champion, you know what I'm saying? You check it. So for 2012, 2016, before the year ends, of course, we're going to have Danny Garcia and Samuel Vargas on Spike TV. You check it. That's November 12th. You know what I mean? And then we're going to have uh, Jamel Charlo and Julian Williams. They're going to be fighting on December 10th. That's going to be Richard Schaefer's debut. You check it with his Ring Star Promotions. You know what I mean? Um... You check it, uh, you know, PBC is going to be back in full effect, man. The PBC series will continue its broadcasts on Fox, FS1, Spike, NBC, NBC Sports Network, ESPN, and Showtime, CBS, and Bounce TV. You know what I mean? And Fox will broadcast three primetime network, network shows. Uh, the first of their shows will be on Fox. The first Fox PBC on Fox will be on February 25th. The opponent, we don't know yet. The guys fighting, we don't know. But best believe it's going to be somebody live. You best believe that. You know what I mean? NBC will broadcast three primetime network shows in the second half of 2017, beginning from the first show on September 23rd. You know what I mean? So from September 23rd of 2017, NBC, broad will, broad NBC will broadcast three primetime network shows. And that's, that's going to be on Saturdays, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, that's um, that's basically football season, September 23rd. So they better they got to do that on a Saturday. And ESPN will broadcast 12 shows from April to August with the first show on April 14th, you know what I mean? And Spike will regularly will broadcast um, shows as part of its Combat Sports Friday platform. And that's going to begin on January 13th, you know what I'm saying? Bounce TV will uh, start showing, showing shows on March 31st. And Showtime CBS will broadcast select PBC series fights on dates throughout the year. You know what I'm saying? So PBC is going to be in full effect, ladies and gents. You know what I'm saying? Some people already making videos talking about, oh, PBC ain't going to fool me like they did. Oh, Al Heyman this, Al Heyman that. Well, PBC's all up in your grill, boy. All up in your face. You know what I'm saying? If you don't like it, don't watch it, you know what I'm saying? Go else, go complain about something else, you know what I mean? And I had to let people know, okay, you mad at the PBC. I already know PBC got cars between December, January, February, March, April, you know what I'm saying? Between now and April of 2017. I can't say the same for HBO, but I did give credit to HBO for giving us live fights in November and December of 2016, this year. We're going to get some awesome, excellent fights between October, um, November and December. I don't know what they have for the foreseeable future for January, February, and everything else for next year. And I'm sure they're going to put on fights. But one thing for sure, two things for certain, PBC got it popping right now. And I know what I'm going to have on my television screen for the next four or five months. You know what I mean? So, yo, big ups to the PBC. Once again, big ups to Al Heyman. Also, big ups to Richard Schaefer, man, because like I said before, when Richard Schaefer is in boxing, boxing is awesome. He always made the best fights, you know what I mean? You remember 2013, how Showtime was killing the game when Floyd and them and Al Heyman moved their whole stable over to Showtime, you know what I mean? So this is good news, ladies and gents, and I'm pretty excited about this, you know what I mean? You guys already know what fight's coming up um, on the Showtime side. I made a video about that. You could go ahead and check it out. You know, from um, De Gale and Jack, uh, from uh, 
Frampton, Frampton uh, Santa Cruz rematch, Adrian Broner and Granados. And uh, we also going to get that Danny Garcia and um, Keith Thurman. And I bet you that's going to be on PBC, CBS PBC. I, be- I bet you that, you know what I mean? So let me know in the comment section what you think about this news, baby boy. I'm very excited and I can't wait for this PBC fight. All right, y'all. B-Marsh Boxing. Thanks for listening. One.